Hello, I'm going to show you how you can use the Microsoft Bing Image Creator for marketing because a lot of people that I've talked to about it have been like, I'm not sure I can use that for marketing. I could just create like weird images and whatnot, but actually I think you can, or at least we're going to find out and see. So we're going to just put in some marketing prompts over here. So what you want to do is log into Microsoft Bing, um, go to the, uh, or go to Microsoft Bing Image Creator, excuse me, log in with your Microsoft credentials. And then you go in here, which is where you put your prompts to create, and then you tap create, and then it spits it out for you. So what we're gonna do now is pick maybe three things to see if it can do. So first of all, let's think about being a travel agent. And we just wanna provide a, a good feel of traveling to somewhere. So let's type in here, couple on vacation, in the middle of the ocean, drinking champagne while dol dolphins jump around them. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's create, because now if you're a travel agent, that's kind of like a vibe you want to give, right? And so as opposed to going to look for stock pictures and whatnot, you know, maybe this is an option, you know, as things get better and as they try to uh, make it, you know, um, or improve on it, I should say. And what's kind of cool is if you go to the right here, you see all your old stuff that you've done, which is really, really cool. You will see your images being created by AI over here. And you can see the purple reddish line that keeps loading up here. And you can go to old ones here uh, to see what you've done. These were some that I, play I was playing with, sorry, excuse me, uh, yesterday. So let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at that. So it brings out a picture. Well, that's a shark. <laughs> or is that a dolphin? Who knows? But see, these are kind of cool. So you can copy this, you know, and then paste it. And, you know, it'll give you that vacation. I mean, it gives the kind of vacation -y vibe, man. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Okay. Now, let's let's see again. Let's see if you're a realtor, right? Let's see if you're a realtor and you want to, you know, show that uh, you're doing uh, your job as a realtor, getting good houses for people. And so, let's say family receiving keys to the mansion next to the swimming pool, toasting with their real estate agent. Interesting. I don't know, but we'll see. That's kind of like a lot. <laughs> but those are the prompts that they suggested we use on the team here. So, we will see. And as you can see, the old image again is right here. You can go to your old images. What we had here was... Um, <clears throat> When I was playing with it, uh, drinking on the moon, um, you know, drinking champagne by the moon. I'm not sure it'll show up, but look at it. It's drinking champagne on the moon. And that's what came out. All right. So I hope um, let's go back to our old one. I hope it's still working. Yeah. Family receiving keys. OK, it's still loading here. <gasps> look at that. Look at that. So I'm going to click it. See, I'm going to enlarge them Four. it gives you four iterations, too. OK, that's sort of like a screwy face interesting i don't know why that face looks like that so let's close that let's look at other faces if and as you can see they are still improving on this stuff it just merges the images sort of totally different from what we had um let's see this one how it looks but you can see how you can use this yeah the faces are a little kind of weird <laughs> but you know the technology will probably get better all right Let's see. Um, so let's say you have a salon and you want to show three smiling ladies with different types of hairstyles and colors for spring with makeup to match. <laughs> it's all about the prompts, guys. Honestly, it really is about the prompts. So let's X this out. Three smiling ladies with different types of hairstyles and colors for spring with makeup to match. Let's create and see what happens. Um... <clears throat> And so, again, your history is on the right here, and you can see your image is being created by AI. It probably takes maybe one to two minutes, maybe. I don't know. But that's how it is. And um, you can also go to Surprise Me here. We won't do that right now, but apparently you can go to Surprise Me, and I think it'll just create something pretty, pretty cool for you based on the prompts that it puts in in here and so it's still your microsoft um you know panel where you get your notifications and stuff you know and uh you know pretty much the same spread okay here we go wow okay as you can see there they are so let's see the, this one 
for the spring, kind of springy colors. You know, the face is still being worked on, guys. As you can see, it's still taking a while for the faces to be worked on. But this is a really, really good start. This is a really, really good start that you could use on your social media and be creative. So can you use this for marketing? Absolutely, because now you could copy this image, put your logo on it, and then you have the springy vibe. But that's how you can use Microsoft Bing Image Creator to create images for your marketing. Hopefully this was helpful. If it is, like and subscribe to our channel so you can continue to see great content that we create to make your life easier. Take care.